Today on the channel, we go deep into the power of the Force line with two people I didn't even know their names, and I couldn't even tell you what their names are right now. I'm going to try to remember Ishi Tib and Amaraki Pruneface. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for our daily Star Wars unboxing and review. And today we're unboxing some Power of the Force figures, throwing it back to the 90s. But remember, for all your modern day Star Wars needs, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. Well, today, like I said, these Power of the Force, we're doing a deep dive, deep cut. I was looking through my huge collection of Star Wars figures. We've got hundreds of figures at this point to unbox. I said... Who should we do? Who goes together? You guys know these Power of the Force ones. I like to kind of combine them together into one video. I said, I'm going to grab two D-level creatures, aliens, whatever you want to call them, from the Star Wars universe, and that's exactly what I did. Uh, very crazy, because I don't remember either of these two people in the original trilogy movies. Maybe you do. I sure don't. But I'm happy to have them in my collection either way. So it's crazy how that works. But we're going to do it like we normally do it. We're going to take a look at the packaging talk about it, unbox it, talk about it, and see where it goes from there. Maybe a couple of see you laters thrown in for good measure, but we're going to start with this one. Oromarco, Oromarco, Oromarco. Uh, prune face with blaster rifle. So I remember this character seeing it, but never, I couldn't tell you. He looks like a pirate, I'll tell you that much, and I guess prune face is what he's known for. I thought for sure he was involved in Jabba's uh, land, Jabba's area, all that kind of stuff. I thought he was a Jabba, a Jabba type guy. You know, maybe he was on a skiff, maybe he was on the sail barge, something like that. That's where my mind went when I saw that, and that tells you I'm uh, I got stereotypes, uh, racism. I don't know what you want to call it, because obviously this is a, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's not. I just look at him and I just assume my prejudices uh, abound apparently because I assume this guy was going to be on the sail barge, help a job out or something like that. But nope. He is the leader of a resistance cell on his homeworld of Dressel. Rebel Alliance member Oromarco proved to be a fierce warrior against the evil empire. I got to eat my shoe on this one. I can't believe this guy's a good guy. He looks evil. And you just can't judge a book by their cover in the Star Wars universe. you got to put your prejudices aside. We need to do that as all of a, a nation, a world, a galaxy. Because uh, I just, right firsthand here, I thought this guy was a bad guy for sure. Little, little did I know he's helping out uh, the Rebel Alliance. So there you go. Traditional card, Star Wars, Power of the Force, got the Darth Vader head. Rocking his blaster in there. I mean, come on, he looks like a bad guy. I think we can all agree on that. It's, it's fooled us all. We've all been fooled. Maybe he's a spy. He should have been a spy. There's the back. You got the uh, promotional images down below of other figures in the line. You guys know I love that. You got the UPC, some warnings. But then you got that little uh, blurb up top that I read. Uh, pretty interesting there when you can't even find him in the picture. That's how deep cut of a character this is. I looked, I said, I can't even find the guy in the back of the picture he apparently represents. I still can't find him. I see Chewie, I see Han, I see Leia, I see some Endor troopers it looks like. I see Lando. I see that medical droid that helped put Luke's arm back together. Mom Mothma, I see her just representing CC-3PO. Oh, there they are. Looks like he's got a friend with him, too. So where's his friend? Why didn't his friend get a figure? He's, they're hiding over here. I mean, that's how deep cut we're getting here in this Power of the Force line. I appreciate that. I like that. I'm a guy of deep cuts. Let's fill it out. You don't need all the A, B guys. Give us some F and below. Uh, some D level. Uh, some Z level characters at this point. When you can't even find the guy on the back of the picture he's supposed to represent, what does that tell you? Crazy. But there's Prune Face. Let's open him up. Let's talk about it. Let's see what we got going on here. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. Micro binoculars. Macro binoculars. You can see see your slide through it. I I don't know. This is from Collection 1. So I oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. Oh, there goes my slide. Oh, there we go. We're, we're falling around everywhere. Here, there, and everywhere. See you later. See you later. See that? Oh yeah. I see. I put him up to the light there. I can see prune face. I mean, that's that same image from the back. I don't know. I should probably get this like framed. Maybe pass it on to my children one day. I mean, this has got to be worth like a million dollars at this point. Probably raising to two million. I'm probably being generous. Prune face is an interesting duck. That's for sure. 
There he is in the plastic prison. Looking only like he can look, as some would say. Pull him out. Get that blaster out. You can't leave that. There he goes. See you later. Bye. Now, this is a new weapon, as far as I know. They didn't repackage. We see a lot of repackaged weapons in this line. A full proof face. He's got his own. I mean, that's how important of a character he is. They're going to give him his own blaster rifle, something that we haven't seen before. And then digging into prune face, no jack sticky disease on this one. But you got your typical power of the force articulation. You got your legs that go up and down. You got your head. You got your waist. You got your arms. He does have a little overcoat going on. Uh, I didn't realize prune face had his hair in like a bun type maneuver back there. Uh, I guess it's not hair. It's just his big head. He's got a, a football like head. He almost looks like Mr. Peanut turned sideways with face with a, a smile on the front. Of course he has an eye patch because why wouldn't he? I mean. That's what I think threw me off and made me think Sail Barge is that eye patch. I think I said, oh, that guy's got to be a villain. There's not too many good guys with eye patches these days. Uh, but you never know, I guess. But he's got this. Was he on Endor? I mean, he kind of looks like an Endor soldier. He's got the camo pants that those guys had. Maybe he was down there fighting along with those guys. I, I don't know. I'm not familiar enough with his story. But I'd like to be. He's not quite Zutton level. But uh, he deserves he deserves his own story. He won't stand either. So there you go. That's Prune Face. Now we got to get to Ishi Tib. All right, the power of force unboxings continue with Ishi Tib with blaster rifle, but a different blaster rifle from Prune Face. I already forgot his name, but he's Prune Face. Uh, Ishi Tib, another guy. I once again assume my Star Wars prejudices. I assume this guy's got to be bad. He was probably in Mos Eisley Cantina. He was probably hiding somewhere. Nope, he's a good guy again. So I'm just shocked. So. Same packaging as the last one. I won't go through all that. We got a Ishii Tib. We got a little uh, little thing we can look at our microfilm. But we'll look at the back. And once again, look at this. So he's back there in that card up there somewhere. Once again, a character I can't even find on the back. I mean, that's how deep this line is. Once again, he is a good guy. I'm absolutely shocked by that. He looks like he'd be a bad guy. But no, he's good. Uh, let me read this. Let me, let me see what it says. The Ishii Tib characters. Okay, so this... Ishi Tib is a race. It's not even the guy's name. I mean, what are we? His name's Carl. Carl from the Ishi Tib clan. So Carl here. The Ishi Tib characters come from the planet Tibrin, which I heard is not beautiful this time of year. So don't go there. I would stay away. Uh, where they live in cities built atop coral reefs. I wonder if they're familiar with uh, the Mon Calamari's. I wonder if they ever cross cross paths. Uh, ardent freedom lovers, several Ishi Tibs offered their talents in service to the Rebel Alliance. Aren't we all ardent freedom lovers at the end of the day? Don't we all love freedom? Is there anybody out there that says, you know, freedom, not for me. I I'm just not a freedom guy. I think everybody likes freedom. So what's the Ishi Tib clan? What what's such a big deal for them? Everybody here likes freedom. Not just you, Ishi Tib people. Oh, sign me up. Sign me up for, uh, uh, a mean ruler that's going to dictate my life. Sign me up for slavery. I mean, who ever says that? Nobody does. So we all love freedom. It's not just Ishi Tibbs that love freedom. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what to think of this. I'm trying to find him on the back of this picture, and I cannot find him. I see Prune Face on this one. So how do we know this guy even existed? I've seen Nian, Nian Num, my boy. He's back here. These guys were in the same war room together. But I do not see this guy anywhere. He's not even on the back of the package. What are we doing? What are we doing here? I'm, I'm going to write Kenner a strongly worded email. It'll probably get returned to sender since Kenner's out of business. But 1997 was crazy times. I said, let's just make characters of people that nobody ever saw in the movie and that aren't on the back of the package. I am studying this, literally trying to find him. I do not see him anywhere on back here. How do we know this is what he looks like? There's a lot of questions with this one. I, freedom, we, we could talk freedom, we could talk is he disappearing. It's like a game of Where's Waldo that there's no end to. And it's just a little picture. I went through everybody. I see Chewbacca, I see that, that one uh, robot droid, I see Lando, I see all these X-Wing pilots, Endor soldiers, I see Pruneface and his friend. I don't know. I'm not sure Ishii Tib Carl even exists. I think this is totally made up. Cash grab for kids. Because kids love characters like this. Everybody loves goofy-looking aliens. We're all in. We're all in. I'm opening them up. I don't know what to think about this one. I'm at a loss. Ishi, see you later. Oh, yeah. Let me take let me take that in. Ishi Tib planning the attack, attack on the second Death Star. Well, I don't see him planning that attack. Once again, see you later. 
Oh, through the uprights. I don't get it. I don't even see him in the picture. There he is in the plastic prison. Oh, wait a minute. See you later. Now the plastic prison. I don't know. This blaster, once again, new for Ishii. See you later up high. Hmm. So I guess you could buy multiple Ishii Tibs and kind of army build them. Maybe you get your colors out and you paint him up a little bit. He's got a little bit of a Battle Cat type look to him. He's got kind of the stripes of Battle Cat. Maybe, maybe he was Battle Cat in another life. How do we know Ishii Tib is a male? I mean, there's so many unanswered questions on this one. I don't even know what to think. Uh, all your typical Star Wars power of the Force articulation. Arms up and down, legs up and down, waist and head, and that's it. But he's got his cool, like, uh, ceremonial uh, rebels, like, pullover type thing going on. Kimono? I don't know what we'd call it. But I like the looks of this figure. I like the alien. I love strange-looking creatures like this. The Ishii Tibbs, I'm, I'm new with them. Uh, they love freedom. They're freedom fighters. They love freedom a lot. So they said, we're signing up for the battle because, you know what, we love freedom. And he's got a cool blaster. I don't hate this figure. I don't hate Prune Face either. I, I like Prune Face too, but it's very strange they couldn't get artwork of these actual characters on the back. Like, here's where they were. So it just screams a little weird. But once again, I do love Star Wars. I love how deep the lines get. I think that's a cool missing feature. Uh, I get little kids. They want Han, Luke, Leia, Chewie, C-3PO, R2, Darth Vader, and maybe the Emperor. He needs somebody else. Maybe a Stormtrooper or two. I get you got to have those guys, but you want the old prune faces. You want Ishii Tib. Uh, I like this deep. This is too deep for even a lot of people. Uh, you know, you get into some Ewoks and stuff. That's where the normal people out there say, oh, that's pretty deep. That's pretty deep out there. Oh, the Death Star Gunner. Yeah, that's pretty deep. Some of those droids, that's deep. I like to get deep down with Ishii Tibbs and the prune faces of the world. That's how deep I like to go. I don't hate this. I like both these figures. I guess my only gripe is, at the end of the day, there's no picture on the back of the package. Doesn't make any sense. So I don't know. That's it. That's my review. These two are pretty cool, though. You guys let me know in, your, in the comments. Did you pick these two up back in the day? Are you looking for them now? I'd strongly recommend these two. Uh, they're going to fill out. I figured for sure both these guys were bad. Nope, they're both good guys. You need more good guys to blend in with your neon numbs and your scenes where you know you're you got uh, Mon Mothma talking to everybody. You can put them in the background. Works out just fine for me. But a little interesting. I would have liked to just seen pictures of them on the card. That's me. But you guys tell me in the comments your thoughts. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got Star Wars videos every day, as you guys know. So you don't want to miss any of these. We got a whole lot of Power of the Force that's still in box. So be ready for that. And who knows what other creatures we might unearth. So for Prune Face. Ishi Tib and freedom everywhere. I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.